And in business, labor unions in the oil and gas sector have directed their members in Chevron Nigeria Limited to commence a total shutdown of the company's operations following the sack of 600 Nigerian employees and other anti-labor practices by the management of the company. The unions, National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas, NUPENG, and the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasin, gave the directive in a joint statement on Sunday. NUPENG's president, Williams Akboreha, and the president, Pengasin, Festos Osifo, called on the federal government to call Chevron management to order. The duo alleged that Chevron management on Independence Day notified about 2,000 of its employees that their services were no longer required. We're now joined by the Secretary General of Nupeng, Afolabi Olawali. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Yet another strike. Tell us more on the justification for the shutdown and what exactly your demands are. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, the issue of another strike, the way you pronounce it, uh, signifies that we are only interested in strike. No. Let me put it across to you that we are out to protect and defend the job interests of our members. Chevron, because of their power, of their connections, believe they can do anything to anybody. They woke up one day, and quite unfortunately, on the 1st of, November, of October 2020, while we were all celebrating the 60th anniversary, anniversary of our nation, they decided to ask all workers in their establishment to resign their appointments and reapply. It's unheard of. People that have been working with you and for you for years. You woke up one day, you said for operational exigencies, they should all resign and reapply. It's quite unheard of. It's an aberration in, in industrial relations. It's an upfront and a drug violation of the extant labor law of this country. And so we cannot watch airplessly why Chevron will be coming to Nigeria and be treating Nigerians like slaves. We know their antics. This is not the first time. What they are trying to do is that they are trying to casualize everybody. Year in, year out, you will see Chevron laying off several workers on the guise of operational exigencies and thereafter turning them into contract casual workers. All right. So Has there been a communication, going, yeah. Mr. Lawale? Yes, just so we can get further perspective, has there been any form of communication between the management of Chevron and unions like Nupeng? No. Normally, normally when any employer intends to embark on this kind of exercise, either redundancy, either re-engineering, or whatever, you need to engage the national leadership of the union. You don't call few people around you there, the workers themselves, who are afraid of their fate, and give instruction to them to resign and reapply. The normal practice is to engage the national, if at all they want this kind of exercise to take place. The right thing in industrial relations is to engage the national leadership of the unions involved. Let them understand, explain the rationale behind it. And there will be mutual discussion, negotiation, and resolution before the exercise is carried out. They call workers together, workers that are involved. Workers want to, to sack. You call them on 1st of October and telling them you are starting the exercise immediately without engaging their leadership. There wasn't any discussion. There was just information. All right, uh, Mr. The news of information that Chevron intends to sack workers and that workers, all of them, should resign on the line, resign and reapply. Okay, um, I, I think you, you, you are on transit. It's quite irresponsible. The, Mr. Lawale, can you hear me? 
Um, I suspect you're untracked. Yes, uh, hence the movement. Uh, we apologize for the movement um, um, in the visuals. Uh, but let, let's see. With the pandemic now, um, some would say this is a, a general problem across sectors, including oil and gas. How do you expect, uh, some would argue, oil companies to keep the numbers if they don't have the resources to keep them? They do the right thing at the right time. Follow due process in anything you are doing. We are talking about human beings. We are not talking about machines. We are not talking about tools. We are talking about human beings that have families as well, that are also part of, that are also experiencing the impact of the pandemic. You can throw them out as if you are changing your equipment. There is need for understanding. There is need for discussion. You need to justify why you are doing this. The workers are there. They know what you are going through. So how have, they, have the unions? Engagement. It seems the company you hasn't up reached said, out. Next week, we are sucking all of you. Workers are putting 20 years, 25 years of their lifetime. Okay. It's quite unfair. All right. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier that um, there's been no meeting between the unions and the management of Chevron. Um, yes. Are there yes, plans on your part to get in touch with the company uh, before you go ahead with the strike? Or do you intend that the strike will compel them to come to the negotiation table? Yeah, we have written. Normally, normally what we do is to write them to, that we heard this from our members and we feel there is immediate need for us to engage. Then it, it's their body reaction or their non-response to the, such letters that will always prompt us to release press statements to allow the general public that we are doing this and for these reasons. So once Chevron now says they are starting immediately, in a normal situation, we're supposed to give them ultimatum. But in this situation, they are also starting immediately. And you see, if you don't stop them now, the, the collateral damage will have been too much for us to bear. All right. Um, I'm afraid that's the much time will permit us. Thank you very much, Mr. Folabi Olawale, for your time uh, on the news. We hope there is a, a peaceful uh, resolution that won't affect the oil and gas sector. Thank you so much. I appreciate your opportunity. You're welcome, sir. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.